biggest pieces of advice that I can give everybody in this room is, you know, execution is everything and thinking through execution uh, is everything. In that particular case, uh, I had bet too much in one place and when I came around to 15 years later building HomeAway, I will tell you that all the failures that I had uh, with that business are what made HomeAway successful. And, you know, I don't know how many people would say that they have tried something business-wise and really failed or failed big. Come on, admit it. Right, you're the people that I'd love to invest in because <clears throat> there's nothing like failure to make you um, paranoid about all the things uh, that can go wrong. That company, by the way, we ended up uh, getting it refunded. It actually wound up, there was $120 million that got put into that company. It ended up becoming a company called iMotors. Oak and a bunch of other people put a ton of money into it. You've never heard of it because even the $128 million, it became a failure as well. Early March 2000, we were looking at about 15 million in the bank. Um, the burn rate uh, was growing to the point where we were going to run out of all the money in about six weeks. Um, the board, of course, uh, it being March 2000, it wasn't even the least bit worried. We, we raised a lot of money. We then proceeded to burn through almost all that money in the next six months as we, as we scaled it up. Um, and, and, and the initial thought was there are going to be all these people who will come in and copy us. Well, some some people were. The big banks were a little bit nervous to go into the space because they were very worried about the fraud problem. We had sort of ignored it. Um, remember when um, the, uh, the, uh, cyber, the Cybercast uh, CEO, um, bankruptcy CEO, when I was talking to him about PayPal 99, asked us, what are you going to do about chargebacks, which is when people charge a credit card and dispute the bill. And I, I told him, well, I don't really know what was a chargeback. And, um, and, then, um, and then it was basically, well, this, this is what the big fraud problem you run into. And, we, we thought that he was just sort of a uh, pessimistic person who should be ignored. The story actually begins with pizza. In college, I was running a pizza business with my college roommate, and we were in charge of everything. We were investing in ovens and hiring workers, deciding what the menu was, dealing with suppliers, and occasionally I was ma actually making the pizzas myself. And this guy named Alfred, who is actually the CFO and CEO of Zappos today, he would stop by every night and buy a large pepperoni pizza from me. And you know, this wasn't actually that weird because we all knew he could eat a lot. He even had, you know, we would go out late night at Chinese restaurants and there'd be 10 of us, and he would literally finish everyone's leftovers. It was, it was crazy. And so we had nicknames for him like Monster or Human Trash Compactor. And so sometimes he would, so it wasn't that weird he was buying a large pizza, but then sometimes he would come back uh, a few hours later and buy a, another large pepperoni pizza. And I was just thinking, wow, this boy can really eat. Well, I found out several years later, he was actually taking the pizzas upstairs and selling them off by the slice. So <laughs> that's why he's our uh, CFO and COO today at, at Zappos.